اللي لقيت مشاكل كثير مدير بتاع مدرسة قال يا أخي أنا عندي مستوى نرجع عشان نقرأ الراجل بتاعي أبا للتعليم حاجة اللي جاب فرتك بينا سوى التفاحص سوى التفاحم يعني قواد ما هلو مشاكل يوميا مشاكل يوميا مشاكل راجل بقعد بهين فوقي بدوك فوقي يمشي يسكر يجي يدوك فوقي Empowering Muslim Women Overcoming patriarchal oppression is a compelling video documentary that highlights the experiences of Muslim women in South Sudan. However, their struggles resonate with South Sudanese women of all religious and ethnic backgrounds as confirmed by numerous research reports. Despite Muslims making up only 6.2% of South Sudan's population, Muslim women face significant challenges. Many highlight the absence of family laws and patriarchal interpretations of Islam as key issues. Interviewees and women's rights activists emphasize that the absence of progressive family laws and patriarchal interpretations of Islam severely impact Muslim women across South Sudan. Asunta Gabriela, a 30-year-old Red Cross volunteer and mother of one, painfully recounts how patriarchal interpretations of Islam forced her into marriage at the age of 14. زوجت لقيت مشاكل كثير مدير بتاع مدرسة قال يا أخي أنا عندي مستوى نرجع عشان نقرأ الراجل بتاعي أبا للتعليم قال ما نقرأ أها أنا لقيت شغل ما منظمة الدواء عشان نشتغل الراجل قال ما نشتغل إلا أنا وديته ماكم أنا مشيت وديت راجل بتاعتي ماكمة بحاجات ألقى بحصل والأسرة جاء قاعدة فيه يا هو قدر فكاني أنا رجعت مشيت عملت دبلوم بتصحى في جامعة بارقة يعني أنا بديت نناشط ونقدر نعيش نفسي بيه In her experience Saad Abakar, a resident of Wao Town's High Lolo and a divorced mother of five, endured three decades of marriage marked by poverty, gender-based violence, and ultimately a divorce that left her with nothing but shame and community stigma perpetuated by rigid cultural norms as well as misinterpretation of Islam. حاجة اللي جاب فرتك بينا سوى التفاحص سوى التفاحم يعني قواد ما هلو مشاكل يوميا مشاكل يوميا مشاكل وما دار أحل تيجي لي في بيت وبابا أحل تيجي أخواني وما تاي ناس كله وبابا بس أنا وهو بس وبعدين برضو في عمل طبيعي في بيت كمان برضو وبمشي بجيب مرة تاني فرنسي وبجيب مرة تاني فرنسي أنا ما بكلم في النهاية أنا جيت أبيت بيت توالي أنا بطلوق خلاص لو بيجا زيري أنا ما دار بيت يعني فرتك أنا مشيت اشتكيت في محكمة وعدوني قسيمة بتاعي في يدي وكلاس Furthermore a Muslim woman who wished to remain anonymous resonates with the challenges faced by her fellow Muslim women. Naman give it zawaj ni mashet bet ha wal ta mashet shaharen kita rajil gam wigif lay fi tari gigal lay ma fi madarsa ma fi zol yam shi madarsa zawaj tak togo fi bet fi bet ano gum ta gatta rajil bogot bihin fogi biduk fogi yam shi askar yaji duk fogi ana ma murta li an ma murta fi kalama la sana gait fogi de miri ma murta. Since gaining independence in 2011, child marriage remains prevalent in South Sudan, with 52% of girls married before turning 18, and some as young as 12 years old, according to UNICEF South Sudan. Additionally, as per UNFPA's current report, South Sudan ranks second in East Africa for the prevalence of violence against women and girls. Zabib Musa Loro, a women's rights activist and a survivor of unlawful forced marriage emphasizes the urgent need for expedited enactment of family laws to address these issues. For quite a long time we were running after a case of um, a religious leader that uh, sexually abused a younger girl. She was about 16 years, impregnated her and imposed an abortion on the same girl and again married off the same girl to a different person. So doing all that because this person was a man and a religious leader for that matter so he had double powers on uh, over the girl nunu diana allison advocacy officer for strategic initiative for women in the horn of africa musawa partner echoes sabib's call for the enactment of family law emphasizing its potential to bring significant advancements for muslim and south sudanese women at large Globally, they say South Sudan is not a safe space for women and girls. So that is a huge blow to the development of uh, the country. And if these women are not empowered to own property, these women um, are not empowered to be educated, but they are forced to marry at a tender age, 
and then um, the, the development prospects of the country will not, you know, we will not be able to see progress in South Sudan. It is imperative that we unite to end the egregious abuses stemming from patriarchal interpretations of Islam and rigid customary norms in South Sudan. Every woman deserves to live free from fear, oppression and injustice by advocating for the swift enactment of comprehensive and codified family law we can ensure women receive the rights and protections they rightfully deserve within their families regardless of faith ethnicity or geographical locations together we can create a future where every south sudanese woman be it Muslim or from any other faith, is empowered to live with dignity, equality, and respect. The time for change is now. Let us commit wholeheartedly to justice and equality for all.